Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This is a little bit of a teaser video for an upcoming sculpt that I will be premiering this Saturday. Let's see here, got that. These, these are a bunch of mixed colors and iridescent colors that I had lying around that I think I'm going to end up using for this next sculpture and I'm going to continue to make it essentially as I go. I have a picture that I'm using for reference on my uh, desktop right over here. So in the meantime, let's see exactly how I can do this. So uh, for those of you who don't know what this sculpt is, I'll be giving hints as I go along, but uh, I just wanted to say uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back making these sculpture videos again. I've, I've missed this. I've been, like I said, I'm working two jobs, so... It's tough to be able to get the time in to do this and to be able to take care of everything, but things are going well. It's really hot, and uh, but it's all good. You just hydrate, drink plenty of water, and for those of you who uh, those of you who work out in the heat all the time, if you want to keep yourself from getting dehydrated, you want to make sure that you get something like Pedialyte or coconut water to put the salts and the uh, electrolytes back in your body. Because I've had heat exhaustion multiple times, and it is not fun. You lose all your strength, you pass out, it's not fun. So for those of you who are working out in the sun, or even if you're having fun in the sun, make sure you drink plenty of water. I guess that's my little top tip. But, uh, gotta say, the heat also has done some other things. Uh, since it's been, it's been getting hotter. Some of the sculptures I have have, uh, well, they've kind of slumped over. Just because the heat with this wax-based clay essentially causes them to sort of slump over and melt a little bit. But it's all good. Things are going good. I'm just kind of... I know it looks confusing right now as to what I'm doing, but... Uh, this is actually a request that I received recently. And I know I had a bunch of requests beforehand. But I'll be getting to those as soon as I can. But this one relates to a, another sculpture that I did. And uh, I will be hinting at that as I go along. Once again, this is only, this is just the beginning of the video. Let's see here. What other colors do I want to use? I think I'll also use a little bit of brown as well. I'm essentially making these individual pieces as a part of this, as a part of this creature that I'm doing. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm actually making the, I'm making the clothing that this creature sort of wears. And I'm sort of, Doing my own take on it, but also kind of adding to what was already here, or what, what what is available to me, at least with the picture that I'm using as reference here. So, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. i got to make a long strand like that. And once again, I'm using the same techniques that I've been, that I've showcased on plenty of other videos. If you want to see how I use some of these techniques and do that. I have a couple of tutorial videos that you can see on playlists on my channel. Just go check out my channel. I got a catalog of nearly 200 videos. Some of them tutorials on how I do this and some uh, some just showing the showcases of what I've done so far. I know for a lot of the regular viewers you're probably saying to yourself, well yeah of course we know that, but it's all good. So many for the new people out there. Like I said, at this point, I'm nearly at 800 subscribers, which is amazing, to be honest. And uh, I'm glad that I'm able to uh, bring some new content into the into the mix, so that way more people can see what I'm doing and more people can get involved in the channel. And also, don't forget that uh, I'm also on Instagram. I know I haven't posted there in a while, but I'll be posting something... By the time this comes out, I'll have a post on there already, updating as far as what's going on. To give you guys a little teaser and a little th see of things of what's to come. I also posted, as of recently, I also posted a video uh, about a game that I play, War Robots. I did a concept video not too long ago, showing a couple of robot designs, and of course... The company that makes the game, Pixonic, they have a couple of their own designs, which I have to admit I'm not a big fan of. So that's the one thing that I try to offer. Try to offer if, because uh, it seems like a lot of people are shying away from the game because they're doing a lot of game-breaking stuff. 
But I offered a solution to my own design. If you want to see that, uh, you can check out this video right up here. Go check that out. If you want to see a design, I came up with my own robot design that I think would balance the game a little better. And it would be more of a support role, because I, when I play the game, I play it on Android. Let's see, let's move those over there. That over here. Keep those right there. Yeah, this is, this is a... I've had a lot of requests to do creatures from this. This isn't necessarily a game, it's more of a uh, conceptual design. It's a design actually from a from a very famous creature designer. I would say very famous. I've done many of his designs in the past. I've brought them from 2D to 3D form. And uh, once again, I'm, I may be doing a take on this, but this is all the credit for this. It goes to him. He did the original design. I will say who it is later on in the video. Let me go ahead and continue on with this. Uh, let me use a little bit. Of, let me use a little bit of this neon green here. I wanted to add some more color to this creature because this is what the creature is going to necessarily. This is what the creature is going to be wearing. So I'm going to put this down here, making that sort of design. Okay, so this is going to fall and be on the back. Actually, hang on, I'll save the red and I'm going to use more of this. So you can see here, look at that, this is a, a green that I used. It has a little bit of pink and yellow and black. It's got a bunch of different colors in it that I use. And go ahead and use that. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, the little bit of the dye from the clay does get in your hands. So when you're using when you're when you're using this stuff, make sure you got a clean surface to work with, and also make sure that you wash your hands afterwards, because this stuff will stain your clothes. And I've had a lot of people asking what kind of clay this is. This is actually a... This is a type of clay, this in particular, this is a clay that I get... You can get it at any Walmart or Target if you live in the United States. You can also get this type of clay on Amazon. It's a, it's a wax-based clay made by a company called Go Create. And you can get them in... You can get them in uh, five-color packs. Or you can get them in 20-color little multicolor sticks. They're like $5 a piece. And it's a wax-based clay, so you have to make sure that when you're using it, make sure you're in a, make sure you're at a, just make sure it's nowhere hot, because this stuff, when it's hot, it's easier to work with, but if it gets too hot, it actually starts to melt. This is not a hardening clay, nor is this stuff a clay that will harden when it's cold, or in, or in the air. That's actually, that's actually a good point here. Uh, just as a little thing here. I got this not too long ago. This stuff in this bag here, this is a paper-based air dry clay. As you can see, it's still moldable, it's still usable. But I don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet. I, uh, I don't have the original packaging. But uh, that's something that I may use for a sculpture in the future. With that, as you can see, I'm, I'm making this sort of shape here. This is a part of the attire that this creature is going to wear. So it's going to curl around like this. And I'm going to pull the section out here and create this curled section. Which is then I'm going to take this little excess that I took off. I'm going to roll it into a long strand and then I'm going to add it to here. Just trying to widen that out a little bit. And as you can see, I'm not really using any tools. I'm just using my hands. It's one of the main things I do. So, and, and don't don't mind the claw. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I use my middle finger sometimes when I'm making stuff, so I take my other finger out of the way. But I gotta say, it's it's good to be back. It's good to be back that I'm able to put some time in to get some more of these sculpture videos out. You guys are you guys are troopers. And uh I'm glad that when I did my little month hiatus that uh, I was able to get some get some time in. I got some other things taken care of outside of YouTube. And I will be posting more to the channel, and this is going to be the start of that. So this is a teaser video for what's to come in the future. Now, to give you a little teaser, this is a creature that was 
created by the designer Alex Reese, which if you don't know who Alex Reese is, have you played Subnautica Below Zero? I mean, seriously? He's literally designed every creature in that game, for the most part. Sorry, I just noticed that. There we go. And uh, then here's a little teaser as to the creature that I will be making for the upcoming sculpt. This is the body that I've already started, and I'll be adding the details, including the attire and the rest of the creature. So if you guys know what this is, if you don't, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can go check it out yourself. And uh, stay tuned. The video will be posted on Saturday. I'll be posting the final sculpt. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see this sort of tutorial videos, and I don't quite know how to do time lapse yet. I haven't quite figured out how to do that, so I'll be doing these single take videos until I can create content and uh, and create a time lapse video for you guys to be able to watch. I got to figure out how to do that first. So with that, tune in on Saturday, and don't forget to uh, leave a like down on the video below, and also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications, so you don't miss when this video drops on Saturday. You'll get notified. And with that, I will see you in the upcoming Sculpture Showcase, featuring a creature design from Alex Reese.